One of the most intriguing geographical notes that Nephi makes in his narrative of the movement of his family through this part of the world has to do with the name, Nahum, but it also has to do with the eastward turn. It seems as though his note about the eastward turn tells us, one, that his family is traveling along or shadowing the incense trail, and two, that he knew about this turn. From the Nahum tribal area eastward, the family will run into Marb. That's where they'll come. That's where all the roads are going. And they would come to this grand city. In antiquity, Marb was one of the most important cities in the world. This was one of the most important stops on the fabled incense trail. Marb also became the city of one of the most famous temples known in the ancient world, the so-called Mahram Bilkis, named after the legendary Queen of Sheba. Now, Marib was able to become a major urban center because of its practice of uh, damming and irrigation. The Marib Dam is one of the most famous ancient monuments. In fact, some people have thought of it as the eighth wonder of the world. Its verdant character kept the population intact and made this a major stopping center for all of the traffic that came through this part of the world. The question of whether Lehi would have gone through Merib, which would have been a major urban center at that time, is interesting because the account in the Book of Mormon doesn't give that indication. When they were far away from Jerusalem, when they were not afraid of being pursued, they thought they were safe from the political situation in Jerusalem, they wouldn't have felt so wary of having human interactions with people there. In fact, they would have welcomed it. So my bet is that they probably did go into the towns to seek supplies. I would think he would have found it difficult to get through the region without encountering anyone, though, because there's a large population. So I think he would have had to encounter some of the people living there at Marib. What would Lehi and Sri have found when they came through here? The dam probably wasn't finished by then but it would have been finished enough that this area of Marib would have been a thriving green place, much like in Lehi's dream when he finds himself in the field with a tree. In Joseph Smith's day, uh, very few educated people would have been aware of the civilization that once thrived uh, in northeastern Yemen.